quick hit. So what is up, fellas? Ladies. Here I am, back again, with another quick hit. Today we're going to do another sub-ohm tank. A tank that uh, is very popular at the moment. And a tank that I've been testing out for the past month. So uh, I think it's about time to look at the... Smoke TFV4 by Smoke Smot. Get a couple basics out of the way to start. Uh, for those who are wondering what TFV4 stands for, apparently it stands for Taste Furious V4. Too taste, too furious. R.I.P. What's his name? I forget what his name is. To start out with, there is the box for the Smoke TFV4. Very, very typical for your Smoke Smock smog products and if you look on the back it gives a lot of uh, specifications it is glass and stainless steel the dimensions are 24.5 millimeters by 73.5 millimeters with a 5 mil capacity and to put a finer note on this this is actually the kit you can buy the tank by itself with a couple of coils or whatever I don't know what comes with it because I don't own it or you can buy the kit which is what I have that also has the RDA uh, the rebuildable deck with it which i have not used yet i paid 29.99 for this tank on no leaf vapor i think was the the best deal i could find at the time i actually checked the website a bit earlier uh the cheapest i found it now is again at no leaf vapor uh i will link their website in the description below and it is right now 26.99 for the the full kit so that's bitching so let's go ahead and open this bad boy has the sleeve just like your normal smoke smock products with your black sweet little box inside open it up and her sits your tank right her right there so we'll take that out obviously there's a hidden hidden fortress below and we will have a user manual a warning card with product information and quality control pass crap and to take a better look inside, you will see you have your spare quad coil here. It comes with the triple coil um, pre-installed. Your spare Pyrex glass, your RDA section here. Then you have a sweet white smoke band, which it also comes in black, but I already have that on another tank. Comes with some extra O-rings and extra top fill sections, the little rubber piece, which we'll see in a minute. And your handy dandy tiny little screwdriver for dicking around with that RDA, which I swear to God, I am close to doing. And last but not least, it comes with this little bag of smoke white cotton. Hey, it kind of looks like smoke. Sweetsies. And for those who absolutely have to see what the black smoke band looks like, it looks like this. As you can see, I currently have it on my Triton V2, which I am putting through the paces and will be reviewing soon. But to protect it, I have it on there and I can still see inside and it's all good in the hood. And here's the star of the show, the tank itself. Uh, we'll start from the bottom, because now we're here. You have your non-adjustable 510 connection there. Some sweet numbers and originated by whatever, whatever. Look at the top, we do have this crazy drip tip. Let's talk about this for a second. This is a normal 510 drip tip. I have actually taken it off and tested it on other tanks. It fits just perfectly. It has a round O-ring at the bottom and it has adjustable airflow. As you can see here, easy to slide back and forth, and there are four airflow slots. And this one's a little different from most adjustable airflow drip tips that I have seen. If we take a look inside, you see there's a center chamber that goes to your chimney, and then there's this outer chamber here. And what that does is it allows your extra airflow to come up in this outside chamber and it doesn't mix with this vapor that comes from the chimney chamber until it gets into your mouth lungs. Most just have an airflow slot where the air comes in, the extra air, and mixes with the vapor itself. I don't know really how much of a difference that makes or what they're really going for with that. Maybe someone smarter than me could tell me, because I don't know. Uh, I do know it's different, and maybe someone from Smoke Smock will contact me but I doubt it. All right, as so we go to the tank itself, 
so it's very nice very sturdy pretty heavy actually it does have a five mil capacity smoke branding tfv4 branding down here pyrex glass stainless steel it does have four airflow slots cylon style this is a little stiff um, it's not terribly hard to move but it is it is a little stiff and this is a top fill tank so we'll go over that real quick won't take but a second because all you do is swing this top part out there's like a little hinge there clicks right into place pops right out and if you look down here there's your chimney hole do not put juice in there that will not end up for a good day and you have this little rubberized disc that sits in here with this little slot here it does move it is malleable you can pop a dropper right in there it moves just fine it like moves to fit you can put a unicorn bottle spout in there it, everything i have i've been able to fill this with no problem very easy then you just click it back into place no muss no fuss and one of my biggest pet peeves with some of these new tanks is that you cannot fully take them apart to clean them and this is not the case with the tfv4 because all you have to do unscrew this top part that comes right off the actual top part screws right into the coil itself pop this pyrex off then you can just unscrew this coil pull it right out clean the entire thing with no prop and here is the coil that comes pre-installed it is the tft3 it is rated from 40 watts to 130 watts get the f out of town i haven't pushed it that high because good lord that's high but it says it's rated for it it is a gigantic coil it has four very big airflow holes down here at the bottom and here are your wicking holes one two three three giant wicking holes for that organic japanese cotton inside and if you look down the pipe you will see that this is a triple coil coil it has actually three individual coils in this coil and that's why it can push so much juice and here is the coil that i will be using today this is the coil that comes extra in the kit it is the tf t4 it is a four coil coil rated from 40 watts to 140 watts same giant airflow holes and here are your juice chambers four of them because i guess these coils are just coiled around twisted around each other you can see inside there's not separate coils it all goes into one so let's pull back talk about it see how this coil works and uh go from there all right so here we go we have the smoke tfv tf tasty furious version tfv4 uh, i will have it on my smoke smock x cube 2 uh, we do have the quad coil inside i know this comes with the triple coil comes with the quad coil they also have a dual coil and a single coil and at least one temp control option for those who wanted to know the vague vague information i have on that uh, and it's not because that information is not out there it's just because i looked it up and i forgot most of it i don't think they have any above ohm options which why would you want one with this crazy ass tank but uh, anyway, without further ado, -do, let's see how this goes. Again, on the Smoke X Cube 2, this coil is reading at a 0.15. We're going to start it out at 70 watts. See how that works. It's a lot of clouds, my friends. uh very very nice very very nice um clouds are fantastic clouds are very nice equal to if not better than my current favorite the crown uh vapor production is fantastic taste let's talk about that a little bit i've been using this for about a month i've only been using the one coil because it's not the only coil i use and it's lasted fine the coil tastes a little funny to me Juices in this tank with that triple coil that I was using versus any of my other sub ohm tanks was subpar, in my opinion. And I hear a lot of reviews on how the taste is fantastic, but I'm getting this metallic, crummy aftertaste, kind of like you get when a coil needs to be broken in and hasn't been broken in yet. I put that coil through its paces and it never broke in. 
This, now let me give it another toke and just to make sure. Yeah, this coil, I'm getting the same metallic kind of just not right taste. Okay, I know what this juice tastes like and this tastes different. <sighs> so what? where do I stand on this tank? Well, I've had one coil that I can only assume was either bad or garbage. As you see, I've taken three hits off this. Let's make it four. Yeah, I've taken four hits off this and I'm getting the same, the same weird aftertaste. Maybe that's what it's supposed to taste like and I don't know any better. That doesn't taste right to me. What I'd really like to do before I super judge this tank is get another batch of coils and try those out. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, as of now, taste is on the, mm, it's not the greatest. Uh, I get better taste out of my Crown. I get better taste out of my Playboy Vixen. I get better taste out of my Kanger Sub Tank Mini. So taste is, it's okay. It's It tastes good. It just has an aftertaste that is unpleasant to me. It's slight, but it's there. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's there. Again, I've only used the coils that it came with. I haven't used the RBA section. I haven't used any new coils. I will. If anybody cares, I'll come back and revisit this perhaps. But right now the taste is mm, one out of five. It's a five. It's, oh, it's average. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Vapor production, fan freaking tastic. If you missed it before, look at it again. You can see for yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. It's, it's video proof. Much like the Kennedy assassination. I, I don't know. So vapor production through the roof. Best vapor production, I would put it against the Crown any day. It's, it's probably a little better than the Crown. And this is at 70 watts. The same wattage I use on the 0.25 coils on the Crown I use on this. And this gives me slightly more vapor. Both are really good, really dense, which is what I like, which carries a lot of flavor. But this, as far as vapor production, hands down, is, is the best that I've had so far. So those are the two important things. Now we go to how, how does the tank look? I think the tank looks badass. Even the coil inside looks fantastic. I did get the stainless steel because that's what was being offered for the price that I bought it at at the time. I wish I had a black one. But I dig the stainless steel. I think it looks really nice. I think it looks solid. I think it looks sturdy. All the machining is great. I've had no leak issues whatsoever, even running this at higher wattages. I think the drip tip looks a little funky, but that's, I mean, that makes no difference here nor there. The drip tip works fine. I don't feel any need to replace it with another one. And as far as the rest of it goes, I'm very pleased. Uh, airflow is really good. It has fantastic airflow. It does have drip tip airflow, which I do not use. I've tried it. It doesn't do anything for me, just like any other drip tip airflow I've tried so far. Uh, it does cool down the vape, uh, but it, it gives a little too much air for me, even because there's four damn slots. Even if you open it up a little bit, to me, it gives it too much air. It's not particularly noisy. The top fill, as easy as it could possibly be. I mean, you don't even have to unscrew anything. You just pop this thing out, this little malleable plastic disc, put whatever in there that you're filling it with. Uh, there's plenty of air escaping, so I don't have any issues there. So the top fill, bananas, son. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Does anyone even remember that? Probably best forgotten. So what do I think, what are my final thoughts on the Smoke TFV4? I like it. I like it a lot. Is it my favorite tank? No, that still belongs to the crown at this moment. If, and that's a big if, if I get another batch of coils and I don't get this aftertaste, this slight aftertaste that bugs me, will this become my favorite tank? It might. What are the drawbacks to this tank? Well, as we talked about, the flavor's a little off to me. 
Um, and that's basically it. The only other drawback is the fact that this thing sucks down juice like a 73 Chevy Nova. But when you're pumping 70 watts through four coils, you're going to drain juice. So if you're someone who spends a lot of money on juice and you pretty much hit your limit, this isn't the tank for you because you're going to go through that juice. If you're somebody who can afford juice whenever you want it or someone who or someone who buys relatively inexpensive juice that you don't mind going through, then this might be the tank for you because you do get a good amount of flavor. You get a lot of flavor and you get a lot of vapor. You just use a lot of juice to get to that point. But basically that's it. That's my view and my quick hit on the Smoke TFV4 Subohm Tank by Smoke Smock Smock. If you like what I'm doing, throw me a like. Hit that subscribe button. Hit it hard. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, if you have a different experience with your Smoke TFV4 than I've had, please leave those in the comments section below and we'll rectify that situation. And as always, I'd like to remind you guys to mob that bitch till the wheels fall off. And I'm out! Mwah. <laughs>